What's going on, y'all? This is Francisco with Covenant Dispatch LLC, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, if you haven't done it already, right under this video, please hit that like button so that this video can reach more people. Also, hit that subscribe button if you've watched any of our other content and you enjoy the content that we put out, please hit that subscribe button. And lastly, hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted for when we do post future videos. Now, as you guys can see in the title, we're going to very briefly and quickly talk about how you can make a thousand dollars a week dispatching now this video is going to be very short sweet simple practical we're going to go through eight steps on how you can do this now of course there's going to be a lot of in between that we're not going to uh, cover uh, but i'll share with you guys the basic steps so that you guys have the blueprint on how you can do this now before i get into this video i did want to say i will be on youtube live tomorrow thursday which is going to be june 1st and it's going to be at eight o'clock p.m Eastern Standard Time. Now I'm going to say that again. Thursday, which is tomorrow, June 1st, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be here on YouTube Live. If you guys have any questions, things that you don't understand, things that you've seen in my videos and you want to kind of just jump on and ask me, you know, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Well, it's not going to be one-on-one, -on -one, but you'll be on live with other people. But you can ask me the questions and we go through every single... I try to answer everybody's question. And so we'll be here doing the Q&A tomorrow again on thursday 8 30 p.m eastern standard time i'm going to be on here on youtube live it's going to be june 1st but it's tomorrow so thursday tomorrow also we offer an independent freight dispatcher course where we talk about all the in-betweens we go through everything step by step um covering again all the in-betweens that we talk about here in this video we have a startup kit we do consultation calls the whole nine yards if you want to access any of those online trainings they're going to be in a link in the description under this video for you guys to access we also have our email where you guys can contact us and ask us any questions that you have so with that being said let's jump right into this video apologize i apologize guys in the middle somewhere you'll see a light so i'll try to keep all the steps on the outskirts of this uh whiteboard and then um you know so it doesn't block the light doesn't block the writing or anything like that so starting your own independent freight dispatch company from home making one thousand dollars a week now, a lot of times I get people asking me, they say, hey, can I you know, have a job and also dispatch on the side? Now, I'm going to show you guys, some people might argue with me and say it's impossible, but I literally have had conversations with people and people who have taken my course, uh, who have implemented this strategy and have actually gone out and done this and they work a full-time job. Now, the timing on whether you work first, second, or third shift plays a big part. And then also what kind of work you do also plays a big part. So don't buy into what i'm saying fully i'm just basically telling you it's definitely possible so let's get into it step number one um and i have the notes here on my phone so bear with me real quick step number one you're going to want to organize your business so organizing your business is important because you want to make sure that uh you have all your ducks in a row i'm gonna just you know abbreviate business you want to make sure you have all your ducks in a row so that you're organized and you're not all over the place, you're ready for taxes at the end of the year, so on and so forth. So that's gonna be step number one. Step number two is gonna be getting yourself a business bank account. Now the reason why you want a business bank account is because once again, you wanna make sure you have all your ducks in a row. You wanna make sure at the end of the year, you're able to categorize all your expenses, uh, write off the business expenses, all that good stuff. So that's actually going to lead into my third uh, step. And the third step is going to be to connect with a CPA. Now, a CPA is going to be the one that's going to be able to help you with, you know, bookkeeping, uh, tax write offs and all that, you know, all that good stuff. So we're going to go with CPA and bookkeeper. You want to get Connected with them for tax purposes. You want to make sure the IRS is getting their money on the back end so that you don't get yourself in any legal trouble. Step number four is you want to get yourself. Now, this is going to be a step broken down into sub steps, if I can use that word. So you want to get yourself these particular items. Number one, you want to get yourself a laptop, right? So that's laptop. Number two, you want to get yourself a business phone number and I'm going to abbreviate business with B. Now, let me tell you something about the business phone number. You can actually download apps. They have apps out there. Verizon has an option where you can download an app and set up your own business phone number, add extensions and all types of stuff. You don't have to go out and, and, and 
start a business, a phone line, and have a separate phone. You can use your personal phone, but just download the app and then pay whatever the subscription is per week or per month, and you can set up your own business phone number uh, versus getting a whole new phone. When I first started, I got a whole new phone, and like a couple of months down the line, I didn't even need it because so, once I found out about an app that I could use. So what kind of apps could you use? I'll put some options in the description under this video. These are some of the things that we cover in more detail in the course. Uh, but that's one of the things you want to do besides the laptop and the business phone number you want to of course have your Wi-Fi set up uh, Trust me people you'd be surprised why I have to add that as a step some people don't know you need that and then of course you're gonna want um, You're gonna want a TMS system now. Let me explain what that is a TMS literally stands for truck uh, transportation transportation management software so it's a software that helps you manage all the operations of your trucking business now typically shippers freight brokers and carriers utilize TMS systems as a dispatcher you don't function the same way as they do so you don't need all of that functionality in your in your average uh, typical TMS system system software so we actually offer I mean offer we um, recommend a company by the name of connect team which is actually a, a, a website and you can you utilize connect team Connect Team is basically like a business management software, but you can actually modify it to use it as a TMS to dispatch your drivers, keep track of rate confirmation sheets, bill of ladings, and all that good stuff. We cover that also in our course more in detail, but just to give you guys the option, you guys can go check it out um, on, we'll put the uh, website in the description under this video for you guys to have. So you want to make sure you have a TMS system so that your business is running effectively and um, you know organized. The next thing you want to have is a load board subscription. A load board subscription is where you're going to get your work from for your drivers, right? So you want to make sure you definitely have that. We recommend DAT. Uh, you know, um, Truck Stop is another great one if you're looking at flatbed or hotshot freight. I'll put all the websites in the description under this video for you guys to have. Step number five is going to be getting a website now guys it's 2023 you want to make sure you have a website so that your business gets exposure you want to make sure you have that that's like a no-brainer you have to have that it's also going to help uh, attract drivers to your website by using things such as seo search engine optimization there's literally ways that you can tweak your website to attract drivers by putting particular words and stuff like that which is going to lead me into the next step which is number six and that's Hire, well, how about this? We'll put marketing. So you want to market to get your drivers. That's how you're going to get your drivers in order to make an income for your company, right? So marketing plays a big part. Marketing is the hardest part in starting a dispatching business because that's where you're looking for your drivers. Every time people contact me where they need, and they need help in starting their dispatching business, it's always, how do I get the drivers? Well, marketing is how you get your drivers. Now, let me give you guys a way that is real practical and simple, and it'll help you get drivers easier without you having to do all the legwork. Now, in our dispatch course, we show you guys steps and strategies on how you can do it and save money. But since we're just giving you guys practical steps on the video, let me show you guys how you can actually do that. So I'm not going to write them down, but you can write them down as you're listening to me. When you're marketing, hire a freelancer. You can go to a, com a website like Fiverr.com. Very basic, very simple. You guys probably heard of Fiverr before. We'll put that website in the description under this video as well. But go to Fiverr, find a freelancer that's able to run Google ads, YouTube ads, and Facebook ads. How you strategize that is depends on your budget. So maybe you want to run $10 a day, $15 a day. Either way, your freelancer, your uh, your freelancing marketer will be able to help you pick a particular plan that'll help you the most. If you run ads for at least two weeks to one solid month, you're, I'm, I don't want to say you're guaranteed because that's false advertisement, but you're almost guaranteed, almost guaranteed and at least getting drivers who will contact you back. Another thing you can do is you can get your website and like I mentioned earlier, you can have that same freelancer or someone else help you with your SEO. So SEO, search engine optimization, it, it's, it's a, there's a science to it. I'm not a, a professional at it, but there's a science to the different words that you put in your website, how you, you know, where you put them on your website. It, it, there's a whole science to it. But if you, you know, uh, work on that and capitalize on that, 
it actually attracts drivers to your website. So you want to have that website, you want to have the marketing, and that's going to lead me into step number seven. Now, step number seven is you're going to be vet to vet your drivers. So you're going to want to look for drivers. And now, if you don't know what vetting means, it means screening them, making sure that they meet the, crit the criteria that you're looking for. So if you're looking for drivers, you're, you're going to want to look for three things. Number one, you're going to want to look for drive-in carriers, or you want to look for flatbed carriers, or if you really want to, you can look for reefer carriers. Now, I'm very quick and simple. I'm going to explain this. Drive-in flatbed reefer are going to be your, your money makers. You have box trucks and hot shots. Hot shots aren't bad. Box trucks are a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to go into super detail. I recommend you get yourself, you know, your vet carriers that, you know, so when you talk to your freelancer, you say, hey, we want to target drive-in, flatbed, and reefer drivers. Lastly, you want to look for drivers that are OTR. OTR literally means over the road. So you're looking for drivers who travel long distance because the longer distance they travel, the more rate per mile they get, the higher their gross revenue is, and then the more money you make because as a dispatcher, you're charging a percentage based on the gross. You're going to charge a percentage based on the gross amount that they make. So the more that they make, the more, of course, you make. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into step number eight. And this is going to be your last step, which kind of covers what we last talked about. And that's charge a good amount and charge percentage. Sometimes people say, well, should I charge a flat rate? I don't recommend starting off charging a flat rate because and I'm not going to get into the details of it, but if you charge a flat rate, it's hard to, to tell what you're able to make if you've never actually done it. That makes sense. Plus, every driver is going to be different. How much they you know, drive is going to be different. So once you begin to get your feet wet and you learn the industry, it's easier to charge a flat rate. But to start, you want to charge a percentage. Now, what do I recommend? I recommend charging 6% for all CDL drivers and 8% for all non-CDL drivers. Now, this is just a nugget that I, you know, recommend for you guys to implement. I've never heard anybody talk about it, but if they have a CDL, that means they have a, a flatbed, a drive-in, or a reefer. They may have a box truck. If they have a box truck, then, then you know, charge them 6%. This is just a recommendation. You guys can do it however you want. But I noticed in the, in the dispatching industry, people jump off the bat and charge 8 to 10%, and it, it's just not even attractive. People aren't, don't want to go to you to utilize your dispatching services and then give you 10% of their load, like they're tithing to you or something. So 6% is very reasonable. Now let me show you guys how you can make this $1,000 a week with just three drivers. So let's just say, and I'll come down here. Let's just say you got driver number one, driver number two, and then driver number three. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now let's say driver number one, Driver number two and driver number three average about 6,000 per week. Now, that means you're dispatching them and they're bringing about 6,000 per week, right? If they're bringing about 6,000 per week and you're charging them 6%, remember? Let's just say they're CDL drivers and you're charging them 6%. Now, keep in mind also that this is why you're looking for over-the-road drivers because over-the-road drivers drive more have the potential to make more. Now keep in mind, 6,000 is on the low end. Over the road drivers, driving flatbed driving and reefer, usually hitting up to 10,000. But let's just, to, to, to be humble, let's just say about 6,000. You're, you're drive, dispatching three different drivers, they're making about 6,000 a week. You charge 6%. That means uh, that they're making about 360. I'm sorry, that means that you're making about 360 every week now of course if you add that up um and sorry guys i suck at math if you add that up that's 1080 but like we said from the beginning let's just say it's a thousand let's say this driver had a de decent week this one had a better week we're just going by average that's how you're going to get yourself a realistic one thousand dollars per week having three drivers and you're, di and you're spending the most about maybe four to six hours a day dispatching these drivers. Of course, that's going to determine on 
what kind of driver you have, what they're picking up, what kind of freight they pick up. It has a bunch of different variables. But in a nutshell, guys, it's a very basic uh, blueprint how you can make $1,000 a week dispatching and eight simple steps. Like I said, guys, there's a bunch of in-betweens we didn't discuss. I'll say this. If you're starting a dispatching business, do your due diligence, learn the industry, take a course. We offer a course. You don't have to take our course. We have a bunch of free um, information that we give on YouTube. I had a person comment on one of my videos and say, I don't think you're that transparent if you offer a course. Well, information is not free at the end of the day. We have the, in my opinion, we have the best course with the best quality information for the best price. I don't look to be get rich off of courses. I actually... It's, information isn't free. It took a lot for us to make the course, put all the information there to help you guys out. And, it's, it's, and we charge a, a very good uh, fee for the, for the course. Our course is only $269.99 for our independent free dispatcher course. It shows you how to start your business from ground up, covers all the in-betweens. Then we have a startup kit where it's just an ebook. It's only $79.99. Then we do consultation calls, the whole nine yard. We have a box truck course too, but we're talking about dispatching today. We have a bunch of online trainings and things like that that'll help you learn the industry, start your own business. If you guys have any questions, shoot us an email. We have our contact information in the, in the description under this video. Once again, tomorrow, Thursday, June 1st at 8 o'clock p.m. I think I said 8 or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be going on live here on YouTube and you guys can ask me any questions that you want. I can't wait to see you guys there. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video.